We are working new details in a hit and run investigation. A bouncer was struck by a car outside Tantric nightclub this weekend, leaving him with broken ribs and a collapsed lung. Tonight, he's speaking out exclusively to Eyewitness News while police continue searching for that driver. Eyewitness News reporter Catherine Sotnik joins us. She just interviewed him from the hospital and joins us now live from the newsroom. Well, tonight this victim is still in a lot of pain. As you said, I spoke to him from his hospital bed at Rhode Island Hospital today, and he says he remembers everything. I thought I was going to die. I couldn't breathe. You know what I mean? I thought I was dying. A teary-eyed Arthur Cardoso recounts early Sunday morning when a hit-and-run driver plowed him down in Providence, leaving him for dead. And you remember it all? I remember it all. Every time I close my eyes, I see the, still see the headlights coming at me. He's a father of five and local football coach by day. At night, he works as a bouncer at Club Tantric in Providence. That night, he says, he was walking across North Main Street to break up a fight. When one car let him cross, the second car came out of nowhere. I hit the passenger, passenger side fender and hood, rolled up. The 360 came back down, landed, landed. I actually got up, tried to walk, and fell back down. Coach Arthur, as he's affectionately known by his Warren football team, will now face a long road to recovery. He just says he wants a driver who ran him down to come forward. I'm a married father, just trying to support my family, trying to do the right thing, and I can't do it. I'm out of work for at least six months. And the suspect's car is described as a four-door sedan, possibly gray or silver in color. And the Cardoso family tells me they believe that Providence police were able to get a license plate number. But again, police have not released that plate number to us. Reporting in the newsroom, I'm Catherine Sotnik, Eyewitness News.